Right, so we've had Baz ball, brilliant. But now, we've got Bosch ball. Bosh. Hey everyone, I'm Uncle Desai. Welcome to Lord's Cricket Ground, the home of cricket. And we're gonna have a very special in the nets feature. Obviously I'm not in the nets right now. I'll be making my way over to the indoor cricket school very shortly because I'm gonna be catching up with boxer Johnny Fisher. Now he is a massive heavyweight prospect in more ways than one. Um, I'm a big boxing fan, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I'm gonna find out a bit about his passion for boxing, uh, about his upcoming fight. We're also gonna be talking about some of his cricket heroes. And then of course, I'm gonna get him in the nets. I'm gonna get set him a challenge as well. He's a big heavyweight boxer, so I'm expecting him to be muscling the ball and clearing the pavilion as well. That's going to be getting on very, very shortly. Bush. Oh, oh, done there. I'm done. <laughs> done there. Bosh. Nice. That's six. Oh. <laughs> six off the you last You need ball. six to win. You need six of this. Keep your shape. Pressure. Keep your head. Okay, so at Lords we have seen Basball. Today we have Boschball. How are you, Johnny? Nice to see you. Mate, nice to see you. How good, good, good. I'm well, I'm well. Welcome to Lords Indoor Nets. Unbelievable. Happy. It's a dream of mine. Listen, I grew up being a massive cricket fan. Um, I was never any good at cricket, but in my house, cricket's a big thing. And watching the Ashes growing up, watching England go and play ODIs and T20 matches, it's a dream country. The thing is, if I was ever playing cricket against you and I saw you walking out, I'd be thinking that guy's going to be getting the ball up to my chin or smashing me out of the park. Yeah, well, I was trying to bowl a few bounces, but yeah, I think I'm better off bowling than I am batting, but yeah. batting's what I enjoy doing. So yeah. I think as a kid, that's what I always, always wanted to do. Now, let's talk about you. Um, you're a boxer, you have a... Look, I'm a big boxing fan, right? So this is my disclaimer. Um, <laughs> I think future face of British boxing. Oh, I'm not saying that because you're here and because you're massive, but I watch a lot of your <laughs> fights. Um, I, I really rate you. I, I remember also the walkout at, against Torero yes. uh, when you had the Halloween the first, music the as first, well. Uh, the first uh, one in front of a crowd that was. Yeah, yeah, COVID yeah. obviously happened. That was yeah, our first yeah, one. Yeah. We sold 2,000 tickets and I couldn't believe how many people were there when, when they awesome. said it. So it Talk was... to me about how you, uh, I guess, first got into boxing, but then also that journey now. Uh, been part of the matchroom stable yeah. as well, which is quite a prestigious stable. Well, I started boxing probably when I was five or six years old. And it's always been something that I, I enjoyed growing up and, and doing. And when I got to 14, 15, played rugby in my new sixth form that yeah. I joined, broke my hand immediately. So really though, like, it was a blessing in disguise because the next three, four years, I had a rest from boxing, played rugby, take my hand up, started doing that. And then when I was 19, started doing a bit of boxing again for the fitness side of the rugby when I went to Exeter University and spied a guy called Joe Joyce, became good friends with him went over to Vegas with him and his team during COVID said, why don't you just turn pro with us? And they okay. got me a match room and we sold a few tickets and I knocked a few people out and we, we're now we're here. <laughs> I, I don't know that. how he got to this stage, but I'm still here. And you have another big fight coming up, yes. 6th of July. Yeah. Um, you've got Alan Babich. Talk to me about how big a challenge that's going to be for you. Alan Babich is a, is a good fighter. I fought on two of the same shows as him. Brings the heat. He's going to come in looking to swing big shots over the top, but I'm the bigger man, the fresher man, the younger man. And I think I've got the boxing skills to deal with someone like Alan Babich. He's going to be in front of me the whole time. Mm. And it's probably not a good place to stand when I'm in the boxing ring to stand right in front of me. So hopefully I'll catch him with something at some point. Talk about cricket. Your love of cricket, your first cricketing memory, do you remember it at all? Was it watching something on TV, go down the park with your dad or at school? I remember at school, I was at Marshall's Park School um, in Rumford. We all used to play a little bit of cricket in the summer after football had finished and if rugby wasn't on. and. Um, I remember staying in for the whole innings and I thought, I'm actually pretty good at cricket. I'm, I'm, I'm smashing it over the park. My, my teacher actually retired me because I was scoring too many runs and we went to make <laughs> a game. That. And I thought I was really good. And I went to my sixth form, which was a little bit better at cricket. Yeah. And the first ball, this bloke, this, this bloke was bowling in swingers into me and just castled me straight away. And I was like, I'm not actually as good as I thought. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm humbled. all right slogging. You know, I got humbled pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah, quickly. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how I'm on the next day. And I don't think I'm very good, but- No, no, I fancy your chance. Yeah, we, we, might, we might hit a few balls today. Have you ever been to Laws before? Is it your first time? I've or? never been. My first time here, obviously yeah. I watch it on the telly. I always hear about the slope and I'm so interested to see how big this slope is. Nasser Hussein's always talking yeah. about in the comments. I'm expecting to see it all go like that, but um, I, I like watching it at home and watching it. I was, I was talking off camera. It's, not, it's nice just to chill out on a Saturday or, or Friday afternoon, doing other things around the house and yeah. the cricket's just going on in the background. I've been over Chelmsford's ground for Essex a few times, I've watched a few 2020s, but I do like test cricket. I just like the idea of having it on in the background, keeping it up to date with the scores. The hum of the crowd and yeah, the background, especially yeah. the Lord's The hum. long room as well, when you can yeah, see the Aussies yeah. walking through there and a bit of... Uh, bit of uh, tastiness there, it's brilliant. So you mentioned a few cricketers there, have you come across any cricketers? I actually met Graham Gooch yesterday. Did you? We yeah. were Essex legend yeah, from your Essex neck of the woods. We was out doing a little thing at Chelmsford Racecourse and yeah, yeah. Um, 
I was just, uh, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was saying to my dad, it's Graham Gooch, one of the best batsmen to ever live, not yeah. only for England, but in the world. Yeah. And um, he actually scored, I think it was a test match in 1990. 456 runs in one in one test match. In one match, yeah. yeah well, triple 100 here. Yeah, 333, I think it was. Yeah, like 333. Like and, um, Amazing. In terms of some quick fire questions I've got for you, okay. um, here we go. Um, Favourite cricket match of all time? Um, England versus South Africa. Was, it, was that when Stuart Broad? Or, no, no, it was England versus Australia, 2015 Ashes, and he yeah. got an eight for something. Yeah, and he's, and he's going like this yeah, when Ben Stokes is like taking that, that, that massive catch. Yeah, and yeah, Peter yeah. Neville comes in and he gets destroyed straight yeah, away, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. keep and you think he's going to hold it up. Yeah, yeah. I think when he destroyed Trent Bridge, team, yeah, yeah. Yeah. or the Bearstow Stokes when they put on a, a great uh, partnership against South Africa over in South Africa. In South Africa, that yeah. was brilliant. That was that brilliant. Was brilliant. Yeah. I, think Stokes, I think Stokes got a double hundred in that one. Yeah. That was unreal. Yeah, I love your, I love your knowledge as well. Yeah, I think love... two five eight you got. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. that You're great. a proper cricket badger. No, I, I love this. I love this. Yeah. Um, all right, favorite cricket to pass or present? In both of them. In both of them. Yeah, yeah beefy. Yeah. Can't go beefy. wrong with beefy. Um, which current England cricketer um, do you reckon? could have a career as a boxer. Now, one former cricketer, uh, Freddie Flinton, I think he actually tried a couple of charity think, fights, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did, he did. He had a few a few charity fights. If I'm thinking in the tell, I think Ben Stokes would be pretty yeah, good. He's yeah. got that aggression. Yeah. It's not all about aggression in boxing, but, no, but you he, need to have that in the right And street time. smarts, you know? Yeah, yeah street yeah. smarts. I think yeah. uh, Ben Stokes would, would give it a good go. Yeah, I think he'd be quality. Um, right, any boxers you think um, could make it as a cricketer? <laughs> I'm trying to think of. I think Deontay Wilder would be a terrific fast bowler. <laughs> yeah. Imagine him coming down the wicket, <laughs> bowling bounces. Steaming in, yeah. yeah. Steaming in. I think that'd be a good shot. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to get you padded up very shortly. How Lovely. much are you looking forward to having a go at the machine? Amazing. I just want to. I just want to get a few blocks in. I just want to get <laughs> my eye in. Maybe one block and then. And then go going, for it. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, listen. It. When people see you, they're they're, they're expecting the ball they're to be punching it. holes yeah. over there. So if I keep if it keeps going past me and I keep nicking it, that's not going to be a good look. No, no, no. I like that. Right, yeah. Bosh. We're going to get it on with Johnny Fisher very Thank soon. You. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was going right for your backside. Oh my god. Okay, I need to I need to keep my arms up because I think I think I'm gonna get hit here. I'm at this short mid-off. Oh it's good technique, Johnny. I like that. Right, okay, we're getting into this now, nice and early. Oh, thick mm. edge. <laughs> Gotta give the bowl a sign, can I? Gotta make him feel good. Give me a half volley. Right, so Jones getting a nice feel for it already. He's lamped one, and he's lamped another with extra cover. That's Give a slice for that one. So what right against off spin. It's when you get me in the bounces. What a natural swing. <laughs> Apologies for the language, are you picking up any of that? I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to be a fielder for this whole session. Oh wow, he's gone for the paddle. That was off the Going for a little cheeky little sweep, lap sweep. I, I, it's all right when you know it's coming before, towards you like I've never that. had to really think the ball's going to come smashing at me, but I think this time, heavyweight boxer, I think I've got to be on guard. Yeah, crunched through the covers, that was nice. Oh, Play the ball on the boundary merit. fresh at the minute. Bosh! Nice! That's six! That's quality. Have it. That was a beautiful half volley. He is definitely volley. a ringer for a celebrity cricket match. That's I can't really play on the leg side though. Oh, that's a skip. Ooh, I think you that's got, cool. I think you got done there a little bit. That's that was cool. a bit more of a spoon. Little shimmy down the wicket. Yeah, if he's going to shimmy, I'm going to get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> done there. I'm done. <laughs> done there. That was too much, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. I was Stumping too early as well. all day long there. Oof, crunched through the covers. That's better. <laughs> that was a shimmy and then almost like a ramp. Too much. Ramp sweep. Ooh. Ooh. I've got that. One more, one more like that. One more like that. I'm going to try again. He wants another. Oh yeah, that's the one. 
This is quite addictive. <laughs> it's quite it's all right when it's off spin. Oh, straight, that's six. I'm giving that six. That's quality, that's straight up. Ooh, bosh, oh, gosh, that is a big hit. That's yeah, the one. He loves it there, he loves it there. Ooh, Ooh inside edge. Too big a backlift there. That is a shot. One foot. Should I try and load it too much? Slap. It don't work. I'll try a little uh, push, just a little push. Yeah. I'm gonna go for an on drive here. You get the cricket textbook out. Oh, nice, nice punch. Whoa, that was massive. That was huge. Oh. Cow corner, bash. That was a bit more. What about reverse, Johnny? A reverse. A reverse tweet. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? That was like a switch, orthodox switch. Oh, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent, to be fair. Bash. Yeah. So what, really follow through with it? Last one for this session. Lovely. That was the best of the lot. Oh, that was a workout. That was quality. You've got to, you've got to concentrate, Lamp. Imagine like, when you've got like, you don't know when, uh, Bounces are coming, like when you're doing fast bowling, if it's going to be yeah. short pitch, long pitch. At least with that, I know it's going to be in the same spot but at the time. The, the beauty is, you have such a massive stride, you can literally just lean into something. I don't many have good to muscle it. Like, yeah. When I was young, I was just trying to muscle it every yeah, time. You are, you yeah, you were hitting it out of the sweet spot every oh. time. Bloody hard work. I don't, think, I don't think, out of all the people we've had so far, anyone's been able to clear the ball like that. That was nice. Too, but it wasn't, it wasn't muscle, it was timing. That's what I liked about yeah. it, yeah. And then you can add a little bit into that. Now, bit of finesse. the next thing is, now you're going to come down to the gym and have a spa. Oh, I'd love there to come go. to the gym and have a spa. I would <laughs> love that. You've done any boxing before? I did, when I was younger, yeah. Oh, I used brilliant. to cry boxing when I was oh, younger. Brilliant. So yeah. I was a big Prince Nassim Hamid fan, so oh, yeah, he's because he's of him, I was just like, he's, actually, he's my favourite walk-on music, I was going to ask you this earlier, it would be uh, Here Comes a Hot Stepper, because I remember he yeah, came yeah, in on yeah, his like, yeah. magic carpet It's like a show in itself, Yeah, ring walk, isn't it? Well, his ring walk were longer than his fights. Yeah, it's brilliant. What's your favourite My ring walk song is Country Roads by John Denver. There you go. Started at university in Exeter. So everyone used to love that song. Yeah. But I have that and I always mix it with a, a different song before to keep people guessing a bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. always got to walk in with, with John, Do uh, John Denver and then the music cuts and then yeah, yeah. the crowd start keep on singing it. So there are a lot good. of cricketers actually, you know, when they're batting, that they're singing in their yeah. head. I wonder if you'd be someone like well, that. Well, get as a well. bit of rhythm with it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I think Verenda Sema, he was one of those as well. He'd, he'd be so in the middle. Yeah, quality. Yeah. And he'd just come uh, at the end of each over, he'd just be singing and he goes back to his mind, he's still singing to himself. And Who's your favourite cricketer? My favourite cricket growing up was Brian Lara. Yeah. Because I was left handed when I Played in, 400, um, he saw yeah. 500 in the first class. Exactly, well, yeah, 501. I like Kumar well. Sangakara as well. Quality, yeah. So, so nice to left, watch. And the left hands are so elegant, aren't I know, they? Like it's that, amazing. So. Uh, right, Johnny, so challenge. I'm going to give you two overs, right? Okay. Win the World Cup for England, but you've got to get, I was going to say 25, you said 30. You fancy 30. 30. I'll try 30. You fancy makes me 30. Get, get to it a little bit quicker, you know? I like that, all right. Yeah. All right, 30 off to Johnny Fisher in the nets. Let's uh, try it. Let's try it, let's give it a go. For right. England in the World Cup. For England in the World Cup. There you go. Cool. I wish I had this machine in my garden. You'd have endless fun. Ready to roll? Yeah. Cool. 30 runs, two Right, hours. 30 runs of 12 balls. Let's go. Right. I'm still fearing for my life here. Ooh, he's hacked it. I'm going to give you... I reckon a one or a two. I'm going to give you two. Because you're in training camp, you can run two. Exactly. I'll run so two. 28 now. off 11. To be honest, I better just give him what he wants. I don't want to put the receiving end on one of his left hooks. Oh, quality. I think that's I think that's four. I'm going to give you four. four for that. That's a proper shot. Yeah. I knew there was the fielder was in. That's quality. So 20, 24 off 10, is that right? 24 off 10. Tell me where the field is next. 24 one. off 10 you've got at the moment. Ooh, do you know what? I think you got a bit of bottom end and I think my field is going to come around and get it. So I'm going to give you two for that. Two runs. 22. I ain't, I ain't middled it yet. Tw 22 off nine. 
Oh, I think, I think, I think, are we giving, are we giving four or six for that? I hear that well, but we'll give it four to keep it interesting. <laughs> keep it interesting. <laughs> I can hear it better. All right, so hang on, what are we on now? Are we on 18? I think we're on 18 off eight. 18 off eight. 18 off eight. 18 off eight. All right, looking good, Johnny. You've got your eye in. Oh, he's gone for a cheeky little reverse. I've got 18 a little bit off of seven. It, no run, no run. No run. 18 off seven. I think you might put that shot back in the broom cupboard. 18 of seven. Oh, that's big. I bet. Yeah, that's big. I've got to give you a maxi for that. Right. As Jeffrey Boycott would say, that's a bit <laughs> of buffet bowling. Right, 12 off six. Two yeah, more of those, you've done it. 12 off six. Two more of them. Toe in, two runs. We, we, think, we think you've got caught there. Give it so, two. So I reckon we're going to give you that 12 or four. Oh, that's a Ooh, one. that's two. I'm going to give you two. Two. Hit it to Co. You've got it in the gap, so 10, 10 off three. You can do this, Johnny. <laughs> Keep your shape. Yeah, that's four. That's four. That's four, that's four. Six off two, are we on? Six off two. Six off two. Or you can just do it in one blow. Oh! <laughs> six off the you last one. You need a six to win. You need six of this. Keep your shape, Pressure. keep your head. Here we go. What a way to do it at the home of cricket. Go him that! No, I'm giving you six. I'm giving That's you six. six. I can't argue with that. That like, was the best one. I've never argued. That, cool. that, you hit that sweetly. That was six. I'm a bit hot now. That was quality. I'm retiring. <laughs> retiring. Let Josh Butler come in. Bosh. Bosh. Very good. Very good. Very good. Right, uh, Johnny took you from the Nets out here yes. to Lords. Before we talk about the nets and how that went. Just take a look at that. It's amazing. First time you've seen it, right, properly? It's amazing. The first time I've seen it, obviously seen it on telly, watch it every yeah. year, but the Coliseum style of it as well. Yeah. My immediate thoughts is what a great venue for a boxing match, <laughs> but I'm not sure the groundsman would be very happy with that. Yeah, maybe we just don't tell the groundsman we want yeah, to do a boxing do fight it. here and stage it. You can see the slope as well. Yeah, the famous slope. You mentioned that, didn't you, earlier? It's not, yeah. it's not massive, but it's noticeable. And obviously... I reckon down there, when the there ball starts is. rolling yeah. down there, that's when you, for that's the, when you really... The bowlers, it's all the fine margins, isn't it? Like yeah. it, can, it can help or hinder a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, especially if you're sort of swinging and it's all curving I away bet, like I that. I bet they have... Different bowlers have different preferences on what end they want to bowl from and stuff because of the, yeah, of the slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I don't think anyone would argue with you which end you wanted to bowl from, so that'd be, that'd <laughs> be good. Right. I won't um, be bowling, just bats, batting. Well, no, we look, the nets. Well, but, no, I set you uh, 25 of two overs. You were like, no, nah, I can do 30. Uh -huh. And you did it. I've done it. You've done it, yeah. I knew it. How'd you find it? I thought it was brilliant. When you know, like, we knew it was going to be off spin, so I can I can adjust according to that, but then yeah. adding another level of difficulty and knowing if it was a, it could be an off, off spin or it could be different pitches of length so yeah it was really good though when you get that sweet spot it is addictive so yeah and you're in really there for about fun. half an hour with all the gear on um compare that to like a, a boxing spa session because it could because you're sweaty when you came it's out sweaty yeah and i was thinking my first initial thought was if you're playing in australia and india and you've got all that gear on mm. it must be really really taxing different sort of fitness tests to boxing but it's more of an endurance style thing yeah. if you're batting for four or five hours muscle cramps is it's important that you probably hydrated well before that and during yeah. the game and uh, different challenges. Yeah, and focus as well. You just focus, keep your yeah. head on the game as well. Especially if you've got a 90 mile an hour bowler coming out yeah, here. And yeah, then, yeah. then you've got to switch it up and get ready for some slow pace stuff. And that's the challenge, the constant changing of the yeah. of the pace of bowling as well. But the thing is, we watched you and I thought, actually, you don't have to actually muscle it. You were timing it nicely yeah. as well. You got your eye in after a while. You yeah, were hitting it out of the sweet spot nicely. Once you've got it in the sweet spot, sweet spot it's all right. It's when you do try and, it's like playing golf if you try and, whack the ball and muscle it through, you're not going to get as good as a connection And when you just let the natural arc of your body go and use momentum. Same as boxing, really. Yeah. When you just let your momentum flow through and you throw what's naturally right for you and your hooks come through, yeah. you get better connection. Yeah. You don't have to muscle it. You don't waste as much energy then either. Yeah. They always say timing beats anything, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah timing is the key. And yeah. rhythm. Rhythm is a, is a big thing in any sport. Yeah, love that. Yeah. It's been great catching up with Brilliant, you. Mate. Really love it to see you. It. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I loved it. I can't believe I'm... This is like a dream come true to be at Lords and the home of cricket and uh, I love looking that. forward to seeing uh, the long room and just uh, seeing what that's all about as well. well mate, I reckon after uh, I'm predicting a win for you on the 6th of July, after yeah. that win, 
come back here and enjoy some of 100%. the uh, some of the internationals. Definitely, I'll be here. Nice one, man. It. All right, Thanks we'll see much. you soon. Bosh. Bosh.